Hey guys, Ben Hart here, and I'm going to show you how to play that um, bluesy traditional gospel intro in the key of E flat in the four four time. So there's a few things you got to have to be able to play this style. Um, in my opinion, is you got to have a percussive element to it, and that is happening a lot in the left hand and in the right hand. But in the left hand, and we're going to talk about that here in a second. You're going to see how whatever uh, chord you're on, you're kind of using the five of that chord to play percussively. Um, the right hand plays passing chords. Um, one of the most traditional way to me in playing in the style and passing chords is to add the two minor of whatever chord you're on and go back and forth from it, running it. So if you're an E flat, you play an E flat this way. The two minor of that is F minor. Play an F minor this way. E flat, F minor, and being able to run that up and down while you're creating a melody line. So that's another thing you got to have. And then um, adding some bluesy notes in with those chords. So like if you're playing E flat, you know, sliding um, some notes, I'm going to play a lot with the minor and sliding it to major and then adding the flat seven. So those are some things you got to have to be able to play in this style or definitely this intro that I created. I am making a track for my um, dear friend, um, Sidney Coble. Um, he's been a mentor to me and he wrote this song and I, I played, I created a track for him on this and I really, you know, enjoyed the intro and let me play it within context of the full track and then you'll kind of see the style, what it sounds like in a big mix, and then we'll talk about how to do it. Okay, so let's talk about how to do this intro. Now, I want you to be able to take these things quarterly and apply it to your own playing, but we're going to go over how to play this um, specific intro. This is called We Need to Love um, One Another. It's in 4-4 four, four time, E flat, but we're going to, you know, change chords, not just on the one of the measure or like a lot of songs do. So here we go. We're going to start out with kind of this beginning lick going... All right, so the left hand is gonna play B flat, C, E flat, and the right hand is two, B flat, C, and E flat. But here is the percussive element when it starts happening in the left hand. So we're going to play eighth notes in the left hand. So in this illustration, and a lot of them, let's just kind of simplify it down, although we're not going to every time in this intro and say that we're going to play an eighth note um, on the floor of the measure for and to one. So if, if we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. So we're gonna play an eighth note there. So we're gonna go octave E flat sustain. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. and we're gonna alternate to the fifth of the chord that we're gonna play next. So if you're staying on E flat, the next chord is E flat. So we're going to play the fifth of E flat. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. If we were going from E flat to A flat, we would have to play the fifth note of A flat, which is E flat. That's the alter alternating bass note that we play. So one, two, three, four, and one, two. So we kind of move hand, because I know we're already on E flat, but you don't want to go, you can, but it's, it's a little more difficult. I find it to be more musical to do that. So you would go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And if we were going back to E flat, we'd have to go back to B flat because that's the fifth of that. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay. Uh, B flat, fifth of that is F. So we're going to use that throughout this. So the first spot we're going to use is right after the lick. Um, so we're going to pump that B flat without the pedal. So and sustain the E flat. So it's percussive. We're gonna hit octave E flat um, after we hit that B flat. And then when we hit that octave E flat in the right hand, we're gonna play this E flat voicing, which is B flat, E flat, and G. See there, we, the normal E flat with the thumb on it, taking that B flat and putting it down there, okay? 
All right? So let me play kind of a section that we're going to learn here. All right? So what we've got so far is a slick. Two, three. Um, and we're going to play on the four of that measure. We're going to add some more percussive element in this spot. But with the right hand, we're going to play this E flat real quick. And on the four and go four and then B flat percussively on the eighth note of the four. Four and, four and. So, and then we're going to go back to the E flat. Now, when we go back to this E flat, the chord changes to E flat in the left hand. So we're going to stay there. But the right hand actually goes to an F minor. Now, I wouldn't call this so much a passing chord. It kind of is, but I'm not moving. I'm not. And we'll do some of that in a second. But I'm actually, I would actually write this chord out and say, this is an F minor with an E flat in the left hand, right? So we got. So we're going to go hold on for a couple beats there. So F minor with an E flat and then resolve back down to an E flat that we were on, the B flat, E flat, and G. And if I didn't mention, this F minor is C, F, and A flat. That's the voicing I'm using. Not there. I like the A flat on top. kind of pulls out the melody that I want for us to hear. So... All right, so that's what we got there so far. So percussively, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. All right, um, I'll do that one more time slow. All right, and now I'm going to do that kind of that percussive thing again, and I'm gonna go B flat into E flat. All right, so I'm gonna go and this time I'm gonna go E flat. Uh, when I go B flat and E flat, I'm gonna I'm gonna go E flat with the seven in there. So D flat, G, and B flat. But I'm going to act like I'm gonna hit it minor and go G flat and slide to that G real fast. Hello everyone, Ben from Natural Music. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like more of these free lessons, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One, you can subscribe on our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that way you'll be notified every time um, we put up another free lesson. Also, you can sign up for our free uh, email list and we will send these straight to your inbox and you'll have access instantly after you sign up um, to our free lessons page. And I think there's over a hundred lessons on there as of today. And so um, enjoy that. Don't need your credit card number, nothing. Just sign up for completely for free. And for those of you that want to take it a little bit more serious, you can head over to naturalmusicstore.com and have access to everything that we have. There's all different types of courses for different skill levels that will teach you how to play gospel music, um, southern gospel music um, for your church or for your group, or if you're just wanting to better your playing and do it for your own enjoyment. Um, there's lessons there. Um, from other artists. Um, you know, some of my favorite artists have put out a few different lessons with this, and I think more of that is going to be coming, so we're excited about that. But if you would like to become a paid member, there are hundreds and hundreds of free lessons, all the way from solos, a lot of accompaniment. There's random lessons on there where we just talk about licks and tricks and rhythmic things and just all kinds of stuff in this style. So if you enjoy the Southern Gospel style of playing, and you want to further your playing to the next level, go over there and become a subscriber to the website. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at your next lesson.